Well, that's a question that PhDs have been written about because it's really the question what makes something art. And um, as long as people were just using traditional media like painting or uh, marble and, and carving things into the marble, it was very easy to tell that something was art because it just used certain materials and certain processes that had traditionally been used to make art. Now in contemporary art, um, starting maybe with the gesture by Marcel Duchamp, um, already in 1917, 1918, when he decided that a pissoir, an ordinary object from a toilet, could be an artwork, uh, the question became much more complicated because how do you now distinguish the object that's hanging in the toilet from the object that's in the exhibition space? How do you distinguish an ordinary uh, piece of clothing at a shop from the clothes that are here, that are artworks? And there have been several answers that were given to this question, namely the institutional theory that says it's really about the people who are part of the institution of art um, and they determine what's art. So they have the knowledge and they're supposed to be habilitate, uh, habilitated to determine something as being art. But of course, this kind of begs the question because it doesn't talk about the content of the objects. And it also maybe uh, makes the suspicion that the emperor is actually naked and everybody just pretends that, it, that he's not um, more, more pressing, I would say. So a more maybe relevant answer would be the one that has been given by Arthur Danto when he said that artworks as opposed to most ordinary objects are about something. So the aboutness would be what makes them art. And in Ines Duyak's case, these clothes are definitely about clothes. They're not just clothes you're supposed to wear to look nicer or something like that, but they're really commenting on the clothes production. They're commenting, for instance, with these these people that are carrying loads, the load carriers, on all the carrying and all the heavy bodily work that's necessary to bring, you know, these clothes to us. And we don't usually give it a, uh, a second thought when we buy something, who made it, if they, uh, if they would have been able to afford these clothes, under what conditions they worked, whether they were locked in uh, to, to prevent that they would steal something, uh, and so on and so forth. So Ines Duyak brings up all these thoughts and of course, by using these ordinary objects, these clothes that are quite similar to what we usually wear, she also builds a bridge to ordinary experience. Maybe when I put on my pullover in the morning, I can remember what I saw here and start asking these questions myself and possibly even become a more ethical shopper, someone who thinks about uh, these questions when they go and buy something.